Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hi, this is James Hall from Gold Creek VR, and we're here live on the set of our new series, Super Puffs, starring Super Pudding and Super Peaches. And today we're going to take a look at Metal Skybox Studio version 2. And I know it's incredible software. Gold Creek VR is excited to announce we're creating a new series with NFL superstar wide receiver Antonio Brown of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's take a look at one of our shots. The first thing you want to do is grab a 360 video and drag it down here to create a new composition. Oh look, it's me. Let me get out of the way. Our shot is going to start at 3 minutes and 15 seconds, so let's go ahead and drag our endpoint over there. Great, so let's take a look at this shot. So what we have is a great shot of A.B. chilling in the hot tub with his son, Antonio Brown Jr., and his daughter, Antonia Brown. They're hanging out in the Hollywood Hills mansion, and what we want to do is add some 2D video windows up here, as well as clean up this nasty camera shadow and add a Gold Creek VR nadir patch. So let's get right to it. So one of the new features in Metal Skybox Studio version 2 is this new Skybox Composer. And if you don't know where that is, you go up to Window, scroll on down, and it's right there. And when you click on that, it's going to pop open this panel right here. So that's how we're going to add our 2D interview with Antonio Brown into this 360 environment. Let's do that now. You're going to click on Add 3D Edit, and it's going to pop up this window. It's going to ask you which composition you want to use. Go ahead and make your width 3840 and click on Add 3D Edit. Now you want to go ahead and lock this window. You want to jump ahead to 315, set your endpoint there. Hit the C key to pull up your camera control and now you can pan around this 360 shot and this is exactly where you're going to add your 2D video content. So let's do that now. We have our interview with Antonio Brown right here. We're going to drag that down. And let's go ahead and roll down to where we're going to start the interview, right about there. And as you can see, we've just added a piece of 2D video, but it hasn't been trapped in this 360 environment yet. It's sort of just floating over it. So we want to trap this into the environment. Boom, right there. And now it's just like a regular 3D asset. Let's go ahead and hit the V key. Now we can move this thing up and down. Hit C to go back to your camera. Hit V to go back to your control to move this. And just like a regular 3D asset, we're able to push this back on the Z axis. We're able to raise it up. We can go into our transform properties right down here and make any kind of adjustment we want to to this asset. It's fantastic and it's powerful and it's quick and it's very effective. And that is the power of the new Skybox Composer. I just added this a few seconds ago and it's pretty much exactly where I want it. Let's just pan around a little bit and see. Okay, that's pretty good. Hit V, you can push this back a little bit more and I can rotate it. Again, you can you can tweak this to your liking, you could do this all day, but I just wanted to show you how quickly and effectively you can add 2D video assets to your 360 compositions uh, utilizing the Metal Skybox Composer. So if you want to see this in the output view, just click on Open Output Render. That'll kick you over to the Equal Rectangular view. And as you can see, our 2D asset has taken on the correct distortion to be properly exhibited in a VR player. Let's pull our Metal Skybox VR player over to confirm it. And it looks great, as we can see. One thing I will do is add a beveled edge to this. So let's go back to our edit. I'll move this player out of the way. Select our asset. Go up to Effects. Perspective bevel edges. I usually like to put .006 on it and as you can see that adds a nice little edge to separate it from the 360 environment. Our light angle is coming from the correct direction because our sun is over on this side. We can lower the intensity of it and if you want to adjust that light angle it's a nice little touch you can add right there. Let's go ahead and go back to our output view and take a look at that. Looks fantastic. I like that. But what I don't like is this filthy tripod shadow down here. So let's go ahead and address that. Add 2D Edit. Select your composition again. Make sure it's 3840 across. And hit Add 2D Edit. Now that's going to pop you into another edit view. And this edit view is going to be pointed down at our tripod shadow. We're going to get rid of this thing very quickly using the power of Metal Skybox Composer. And if you're like me, it's all about organization. So I click on properties. I'm going to name my first edit AB interview. So that way I know what that edit is. And then I'm going to adjust the name of this edit. We're going to call this Nate Ear Patch. So now we're completely organized over here. Make sure we lock this edit window. I'm going to open up my output view. Sling that window over to the side. 
lock that window, go back to my edit, and select open layer. That's going to pop open a third window right there. So now I'm able to see my layer view, my edit view, and my output view all at the same time. And the reason I want to show you this is because these changes that we're going to do when we remove this are going to take effect over time and stick. Meaning you're not going to have to paint this out frame by frame, which is the power of this Metal Skybox Composer. So let's take a look. If you've got a digital pen tool, now's a great time to break it out. Go ahead and click on this clone stamp tool. Let's get into this a little more. And again, this is a, a quick and dirty pass, so don't judge the uh, painting skills here. I just want to quickly show you how easily you can paint out a camera shadow or a sandbag or any other type of camera support that's gonna help increase your immersion at the end of the day and we're gonna do this real quick and dirty like I said don't judge cleaning up this tripod shadow removing sandbags and that sort of thing is going to make your work look more professional. When you're creating VR content, the idea is to create an immersive experience that makes the viewer believe they are where you're transporting them. And if you see a tripod or a sandbag, well, at least for me, that sort of breaks that immersion. So we want to create more immersive experiences that look better. So there really isn't any excuse now not to get rid of your sandbags and not to get rid of your tripod shadows. And I'm also going to leave this alone because I'm going to add a 2D asset here, which is the Gold Creek VR Nadir patch. And again, this is ultra dirty. But I just wanted to show you how quickly you could do that. Fine, I'll do this a little bit better, but I don't want to spend all day on it. I just want to make it look sort of decent so you get the point. And Alt forward slash brings you back. And as you can see... In all three of my views here, I've effectively eliminated that camera shadow. This is a 15 second shot. It started at 3 minutes and 15 seconds, and we're actually going to use all the way to 3.30 in the actual edit. So let's go ahead and scan through that now. And as you can see, those changes are taking place over time. I'm not having to go in and do this frame by frame. And that's fantastic. That's the power of Metal Skybox Composer. Now as long as you don't move this window, those effects will stay, but if you move it, it's going to break the effect. So don't move it. Set it and forget it, and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to undo that. Like I like to say, set it and forget it. Okay, keep that camera angle pointed down, and you'll be good to go. Let's get rid of our layer window. Let's get rid of our output window. But we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and add our Gold Creek VR Nadir patch down here. Hit S to adjust the scale, make it 36. Hit T to adjust the opacity, make it 22. Hit V to grab your graphic and move it down. And you're going to center that up right in the middle. You can go ahead and restore your opacity to 100%. And now you can check your work in your output render right there. And as you can see, we successfully cleaned up our camera shadow and added our nadir patch as well as our 2D video asset we can double check our work in the Metal Skybox VR player. And as you can see, we can tilt down and see that that 2D graphic has been added and looks proper in the 360 environment. Oh, but we're not done yet, folks. There's yet another 2D asset that we're going to add right up here. And guess what it's time for now? It's time for some fan love. Let's add a 2D video asset up here of AB hanging out with the fans at practice. I'm going to move the player out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and create a new 3D edit. Select the same composition, make it 3840 across again, and that pops open this new edit window, which we are going to name Fan Love. Hit save. And last but not least, we want to go ahead and scrub back to 315 where our shot starts. Go ahead and set our endpoint there, just to stay organized. Grab our Fan Love 2D asset right here, sling that down, and line it up to where we want the shot to begin is right about there and as you can see we have a great shot here AB hanging out with the fans let's go ahead and put this into the 360 environment by clicking on our 3d layer button we'll lock that into 360 space hit the V key you can go ahead and raise that up and 
And again, we can adjust this all day long. If you really want to get specific with it, let's go into our transform properties right here. And then you can do whatever you want. Lean it forward, pan it towards us a little bit more. Let's push it back on the Z axis a little bit further too. get it further away from the camera right there and then move this over and place this right up here. Slide it to the left a touch. Let's pan our camera around and we can tweak this as much as we like, but I just wanted to quickly show you how you can throw a 2D video asset into a 360 composition and place it in 3D space. Let's go ahead and go back to our output view and pull over our metal skybox VR player. And there you have it, folks. How's business? Business is booming. We've effectively added 2D video elements to our 360 composition. We've cleaned up our camera and tripod shadow and added this Gold Creek VR nadir patch. I'm James Hall for Gold Creek VR. Be sure to pick up Metal Skybox Studio version 2. And stay glued for Antonio Brown, Call God, coming soon from Gold Creek VR. Excellent job. Thanks for watching our tutorial on Metal Skybox Studio version 2. And stay glued for more Super Pups from Gold Creek VR. Good job, guys. Turn around. Turn around. Fantastic. Put them up. Put them up. Yes.